Hello, I'm going to be showing you today how to order takeout or order food online. So the first thing that you need to do is check or figure out which restaurant that you want to eat from. So for example, if you really want pizza that day, you could try Pizza House or Cottage Inn, Little Caesars, whatever you like. But if you're feeling more of Chinese food, maybe try Charlie King's, Panda Express, or something different. So first, what you need to do is decide which restaurant you want to eat from or what kind of food you want for that meal and then go on their website. So for my example, I'm going to be using Soup Spoon Cafe, which is located in Lansing. Um, and you can just type in on Google, like search the restaurant name and then click on it. And then this is what their website should should look like. And then at the very top, they will have, for example, the homepage you are on food. So you can look at their menu to see what you like to order and order online tab, gift card reservations and contact. So not every restaurant is gonna have all these kind of tabs, but definitely look out for the contact and order online. So if you wanna call the restaurant, um, you would hit, hit the contact tab, and then you can either call their phone number or you can put your contact information in. So you could type in your name, the subject of what kind of food you want, your email, and then your message. So if you want to call the person or the restaurant, you can use their phone number or you can reach out to them through by email. By email. So I'm going to show you how to actually order online or order the takeout. So you're going to hit the order online tab. And then it'll either it'll keep you on that same page or for this example, it'll go to a different tab or a new web page. So you're going to stay, click start ordering. And then you're gonna obviously select the location that you want to order from. And then you're gonna choose the day. So for example, today is Saturday, April 17th, but you can also click on this little calendar icon and choose something later in the week or next month that you're having a birthday party or something later on that you like food from this location. So for example, if I wanted to order food today, I would click Saturday, April 17th. But if I wanted food, for example, on Tuesday, then I would click on Tuesday, April 20th, and then that new date will pop up. So, and then you can also choose the pickup time. So you have a range of times to choose from. So if you want breakfast, if you want lunch, if you want dinner. So say I want lunch, I would maybe choose 12.30 p.m. So this is the time that I would go pick up my food from the restaurant. So I would go pick it up Tuesday, April 20th at 12.30 p.m. And you would click continue. And then it has all the different menu options. So for example, if I want eggs or omelets, if I want breakfast sandwiches, sides, produce, entrees, sandwiches, soup, dessert, and then a bunch of other options. So usually you can choose whatever you like. So for example, I'm gonna hit cafe specialties because normally specialties are kind of the ones that are the best sellers or the ones that people really, really like or customers really like. So for example, I chose my time for, for lunch. Mine's 12.30. So I'm going to look down and see if there's any other options. But you know what? Honestly, the San Diego sounds really good to me. I'm a big breakfast person. So what you could also kind of nice to do is if there's a brunch option, you can choose to to kind of a lunch or a breakfast option. So I'm gonna choose the San Diego, which is two eggs, an English waffle, avocado salsa, and hollandaise that serve with potatoes. So the price, and it also says the price for you, so it says $10.99, but say you want something else, if you want something different, then you would click, so for example, maybe I want a salad, or maybe I wanna order food for my family. You can definitely do that. So you can always add more menu items to your order, so for example, say my mom wants a grilled shrimp salad, then I would click on that and then it should pop up or now it shows you options that you can choose from. So do you want to add other ingredients to it or do you want to just keep it how it is? So I think I'm going to add goat cheese because my mom likes goat cheese, but I'm going to keep that same dressing and I'm not going to add any more meat to it. So then you'll click on add to order and then now it'll pop up under my order. So for right now, I have a San Diego one that's $10.99 and then I have a shrimp salad with goat cheese for $13.99. So 
that is kind of my order, but if you want to add more, you definitely can. And then at the bottom, it'll say subtotal. So it'll say $25.98. That's my total. But yours will definitely be different depending on what you want to order and what you do order. So then you'll say continue. And then for some restaurants, they will make you choose an account or they want you to create an account. So if you don't want to, you can just hit the skip the account just orders. That's what I'm going to do. And that's probably the easiest route to go because creating an account can be kind of difficult and just unnecessary work. So I would just go to skip the account just order and hit continue. And then this is the part where either you can do this or your parent or guardian. So you can put your information down, your first and last name, your email, um, either your cell phone number or your home phone number. Um, and then maybe ask your parents or your guardian for this information. So they, um, cause they'll probably have it on file. Um, and also this will be the person they contact for um, when you go pick up your order. So for example, I'll do my name, last name, um, my email, and then I'll put my phone number as well. Then I'll hit continue. So now this is the last thing you have to do before you confirm your order is you're gonna add in your credit card information. So this I would definitely have your parent or guardian do so that you would, they would choose the card type, their name on the card, the card number, and then the day that it expires. So I, if you have your own credit card or debit card, you can definitely use your own information and put this all in for yourself. But if you don't have one, I recommend asking your parents or your guardians for this information. And then if you want to tip, um, you can. And that's more if you want um, to kind of say thank you for the good job they did on their food or thank you just for working um, and making this food for you. So that is kind of the steps when you order online. And then after that, after you put in all of your um, credit card information or your payment, you're going to hit complete order. And then you'll co hit complete order. And then it'll give you a confirmation and a receipt. And then it'll also be sent to the email you put on. So if you want to order over the phone, it's a lot less work. But the only difference is you have to you would have to pay in person when you go pick the food up. So this option right now, what you see on my screen, the payment information, you wouldn't fill that out. You would do that when you pick up the food. So when you picked up the food, you would pay in person. So over the phone, you can do the exact same thing. You'll just say your name, phone number, what you're ordering, and then they'll tell you the price. And then once you go and pick it up, then they will ask you for the credit card or cash or whatever kind of payment you want to make. So that's kind of the two differences uh, with ordering online and ordering over the phone. But they're both very easy. And I hope that this helps you.